And in the games that were played, the ACC won five of them out of the 11 matchups. Florida Gulf Coast, the traveling blue, Miami the home white. Off of that win Tuesday in the ACC Big Ten Challenge, 58-54 against the Boilermakers. Underneath, and the first two points belong to the Eagles inside. A Baez strong move. Long rebound taken in. Mr. Brooks providing some size and rebounding on the inside. And that three-pointer will rattle home. McGusty was enough to win that game. Didn't make a three in the first half. Augusti who averages 13 points per game. Three-pointer at the other end, and that'll drop for Largi. The Miami Hurricanes. Just the fifth all-time meeting. Florida Gulf Coast won it in 2012 in Fort Myers, and they get that jumper to drop from Cato. Pull-up jumper. It'll rattle off on the attempt by Wong. Second chance. Strong move and a rim bender. The Sear Brooks. So 7-6, Eagles with the lead. Miami with the ball. They'll put it up on the rim. And the slam from Brooks. Point line. They're very, very diverse in how they score. Inside pass with an easy two-hand slam. Not seen Grant in 10 years. We worked in the NBA together. Many years ago, Grant. A lot of years have gone by. <laughs> Three-pointer from the Eagles. That came out of the corner from Obayev. In fact, they've won six of their last seven ACC Big Ten Challenge games. That's a nice soft bounce, and it falls for Anthony Walker. Had four points and a couple of boards coming off the bench in the win against Purdue. There's a steal. Anticipation from Wong, and he'll go up and hammer it with the right hand. Isaiah Wong. Made this one count, Grant. And this is the kind of defensive intensity that could let this game get away from Florida Gulf Coast. Had it knocked away, getting up defensively. Walker. Three-pointer is to the bottom. Three of six right now for Florida Gulf Coast from the three-point line. Trying to look inside to Rodney Miller. And they gave it off to Cross for two. He's in the box score. Perimeter defense to take that pressure off of Brooks of uh, protecting the basket so much. Abayev. Got the miss from Roland. It leads to a three-pointer. Dakota Rivers. He's got another one. And it led to another three from Rivers. And the lead for the Eagles. Beverly floating and scoring. It's Harlan Beverly for the game. Playing their zone. Cross with the entry. Brooks. Skillful move. Nasir Brooks showing off. Roland. Triple team stolen away. Quick hands of Wong. Little two on two. Got to do it himself with the scoop. They play so well in transition. Isaiah Wong had 27 points in a triple overtime win at Virginia Tech a season ago as Florida Gulf Coast comes right back with a three from Largi. He's earned the right to play. A couple of injuries, things happen. You just have to be ready when your number is tall. And give him credit. Largi has done exactly that. Cato was ready as well. Catch and shoot. Roots go all the way back to the NBA and the Charlotte Bobcats. An intern for the Bobcats back in 06-07. How about that fluid move? All the way to the rim for Walker. About midway through that second half now. With Leonard Hamilton's Florida State Seminoles. All the way to the... Look at Wong twisting in the air, Grant. Not what Coach Laranega had envisioned when it, uh, that play started. Now Harrington attempting his first three of the season there. Oh, Cato! And that was from beyond the arc. Hey, it's a tie ball game, guys. We're, we're in it. We're here. You know, we're here. I've said this. I've been a part of that conversation where when we come this far, let's go ahead and win the game. Against Miami. First win in the series in the four previous meetings. There's a turnover to the bucket and earning the two points is Beverly. Error on my part. I said Franco Miller. That was Harold Beverly. Carlin Beverly, I'm sorry. Largi hits the shot on the baseline. Who missed the game against Purdue with the ankle injury and had nine points and nine boards. Had a double-double in the first game of the season. There's Wong elevating and jamming. Zaya Wong, the sophomore from Piscataway, New Jersey. Double digits against the Boilermakers, 11 points. How about that defensive play by Walker? Toppled. Wong will show and go. Tough shot against two defenders. 
And that was Rainwater defending. Now three on one the other way. Cato stepping into the three. Score the bucket. That one was halfway down and out on the shot by Cato. Gak, he saw that one, Grant. Oh, yeah, he did. Big guy running the floor. Off its trajectory by Florida Gulf Coast in a congested area. Miller. Three ball. Corner pocket. That's ideal basketball for Florida Gulf Coast. Beverly. Interior pass Brooks. One dribble off the square and good. And that's good because that was an area of concern for Coach Jim Laranega. Beverly, did he switch hands in midair? He did. Long on the drive. Tough shot. Tough shot of the miss from Anderson. They're going to try it again. Cato. Long. Angles in and hits. He wants his shooter back out on the floor. Cross into traffic. Beverly. Beverly has tied the game at 42 by F baseline. Trying to work on Brooks and he spins it over the edge of the rim. Mid-range jumper if you're Miami to take some of the edge off of missing so many three-point shots. It's a mid-range double clutch off the back of the rim and down Isaiah Wong. Thought better of it, got to the mid-range jump where he was able to capitalize. 12 points now for Wong. Ripping the ropes for the Eagles with a three. Right, Miami, take your twos. If we can make more threes than your twos, we're going to have the opportunity to win the basketball game. Rivers at one end with the three, and then Anthony Walker hangs and scores. Beverly looking for Cross. Tried to recover, had it knocked away, and it's stripped away by Roland. Very good defense by Florida Gulf Coast. With Miami after the first half. Keep your eyes on Kettle. He's on the floor. Keep your eyes on Largi. Second effort. A buy-in. Chance for the three-point play. Wong brings it up. Wong. Spin it. And hit it. That's tough. That's tough. That is a very difficult shot. It's leading by two. Closing in on four minutes remaining. We'll turn around and Anthony Walker got the bounce. And we're tied at 50. How about nine ties in this game? After the basket by Walker. Cato slightly off balance is not a problem. It's a two-point shot for Cato. Release the rotation and the desired results. Up and under and laying it in Anthony Walker. A couple of nifty interior moves on the last two possessions. The zone, you're able to have options if you can get the ball in the middle. About 10 ties now, quickly unbroken. Dakota Rivers stepping back and knocking down a three. Made threes by Florida Gulf Coast, Gulf Coast the most they've made so far in the season. Abayev, how about the pass from Largi? Although Florida Gulf Coast has, re has maintained the advantage recently. Oh, that's a dagger. Goodness, that Dakota hurts. Rivers, is that his fifth three of the game? It is. They leave the same guys out there to play 40 minutes for you at some point. 41 percent three-point shooting, and that three falls for Wong. Boy, did they need that one? They needed something quick. Miami needs points in a hurry. Eight seconds to go. Beverly, they need to launch something with Wong. He makes the three. Maybe they just needed pressure to be able to, to knock down the three-point shot. Deflected. Brooks will take the shot, would have counted, but doesn't matter. 66-62!